All right, you guys, let's do this today. Aquarius, you guys are first up on the list. So welcome in, welcome back. What's up, what's good, what's happening? I hope you guys are all doing well. This is gonna be a general message for Aquarius. And cross watchers, you're welcome as well. Anybody drawn here is welcome, as long as you guys have good intentions, okay? If there's something in here that helps you, go ahead and take that moving forward. If not, try a different message. I'm gonna do a Celtic cross spread with the Light Sears Tarot. And right on time, the cards are coming out. Pisces energy with the hanged man for your current situation. So you guys are having a shift in perspective. This could be the dawning of a new idea, an epiphany, if you will. You've got enough information that things are starting to make more sense now. There's a level of, this is a little uncomfortable, um, I want to say you're going to learn how to make sense of it, though. Well, yeah, you're Aquarius. I'm talking to Aquarius. You're going to make sense of this. Uh, let's see what the incoming influencing energy is to this new perspective, uh, perspective here. Queen of Wands, Three of Wands. <gasps> oh, y'all had a vision. Either you're seeing something differently in your future you're looking at your future and you're like actually you know what can I tweak that what does that look like I think I like that better or um, maybe somebody else uh, mentioned an idea well why don't you try or why don't you consider what if I feel like this is you though you inspired yourself here in vision in meditation Aries with the Pisces, Aries, Pisces, Cusper. Hmm. What's in the foundation for Aquarius? Here's your thank you, Spirit. Y'all could have woke up from, oh my gosh. I was just about to say, y'all could have woke up from a very informative dream. And judgment <laughs> came out. So y'all had a dream here, a vision that your soul is like, yes, <laughs> yes, um, that's, that's what we're doing now. Some of you guys are no longer in stagnation. It is time to move that ass, okay? <laughs> Some of you are actually moving. You feel very drawn to do something that maybe you've never done before. Do it anyways. This is key, Aquarius. This is key. It's going to start this week, but also pay attention to the following two weeks. So, like, from now for the next three weeks, pay very close attention to what's going on. <laughs> recent past for Aquarius. Please and thank you, Spirit. Are you so excited? Oops. I think that was the Page of Cups. And yes, it is. Yeah. You. So this is a recent dream. For some of you guys, this is a series of dreams or a repeated dream. Some of y'all woke up and then when you go to bed, like right after or the next night, the dream picks right back up and keeps going. So you're getting it bits at a time. That's nice. That's nice, though, because you get to make sense of the bits and pieces instead of getting it all at once and then being overwhelmed. Like some of us other people out here tend to <laughs> get the dream messages that way. But you can handle this for sure. Let's see what's going on. Oh, oh, what was that about? Six of Swords in the mind space. So these are um, helpers in the subtle realms that are bringing these little nuggets of information and inspiration to you. Sometimes when you know what you're fighting for, that gives you the willpower to fight. You know what I'm saying? Aquarius, you got a hand up here. Um, you are the sign that is directly connected to the other side, so 
I'm not too surprised that these messages are coming through as strong, as clear, and as loud as they are. Let's get back into the spread. The, oh my gosh, these cards, your cards are, are weird. Um, so we had the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Cups. I didn't even, was that a real shuffle? Like they just jumped right out. <laughs> In the near future, Eight of Cups reversed um, in the Wheel of Fortune. You're not getting back on a karmic cycle. Flat, period. We're not doing the same old thing. We're not getting caught up. Nope, we have our out. We have our heading. Um, I'm hearing that song on the road again. Can't wait to get back on the road again. That might not be the right words, but there's a lot of movement it's funny because current situation I know the way it looks right now there's no movement stagnancy hanged man just kind of hanging out movement around you but not not you to this and this a wake-up call and this moving in that direction with this new information here and it's turning the wheel you're not walking away from something. You're walking right fucking through it. I got it this time. I got it this time. Okay, I like it. There's so much confidence here. Um, Sagittarius energy with the Wheel of Fortune. Fate, destiny, fortune is on your side. You're favored. You are highly protected. You are highly favored. You are highly sought after. As am I and the rest of the collective. It's a gorgeous thing. Yeah, some of you, wow, some of you are moving homes. There could even be somebody coming to visit you or moving in with you. We have Aquarius, that's your energy. This is in the fears, worries, concerns. Some of you were worried that you'd have to move out really fast. You've got more time than that. Or you can actually do it in that amount of time, even though some of you guys are ready to go. You're just waiting for the green light. And you're like, cool, I already got it all packed. I'm just waiting for the, let's do this. And then you get that go ahead. You get the approval, you get whatever it is you need here. And you've been dreaming about it. So like you knew it was gonna happen. You were just kind of waiting for your timing and divine timing to line up. You wanted this so bad that I don't even think you were really questioning it or doubting it. Some of you didn't have to wait too awful long for this. Not enough to make you give up, but some of you actually did. A few of you did. But that spark is coming right back. Some of you guys forgot you applied for something until you get the phone call that you're approved. Maybe you applied for a job months ago. You forgot you even applied for this one. And they call you and they're like, so if you're still interested in that position, we actually do have an opening and looking at your application, um, would you be able to come in and you know do an interview with us? Some of you are gonna get told at that interview, um, we're not supposed to tell you this, but you're gonna get the job. You're one of the few. one of those situations where they have to pick three people. They've only got two left to interview and you were the best they've seen thus far. So you are absolutely getting it. But just don't tell anybody else yet. Right? It's like that. This is very interesting. Maybe you were also waiting on a house for the final bidding. You did bid the most. Or you're the one with the background that got checked. I'm sorry, you, you had the clear background, somebody else didn't. Or your personality just fits better with the team, so you're the one that they want to give the job to. Even though somebody else's application looked better than yours, it's not just about what's on paper. I was a hiring manager for a couple of places, and that is in fact a fact. <laughs> in fact, a fact. What's our house, the universe, viewing, temperance? Yeah, you were just patiently waiting for your timing to align with divine timing. 
You were cool, calm, and collected, though. You were really cool about this. You may have given up a little bit, but I don't think you were necessarily feisty and, and sassy, right? Building up the negative karma while trying to manifest something that was frustrating to manifest. Sagittarius energy. What's the goal? You also have a lot of angels surrounding you right now, by the way. Like, a lot. Ten of swords and the emperor. Yeah, to not let those negative thoughts deter you so that you can have what it is that you worked so hard to build up. Some of you from scratch. You're self-taught here. A lot of you guys, this is actually your passion that is going to become an income somehow or take you places for sure. For some of you guys, your passion gets traction. I'm not sure how. Somebody sees it and they want to see more. They love your work. They love what you do. They happen to know very important people. And they're telling these people about you. You're going to be getting some phone calls. You're going to be getting some attention here. It's going to take you places. You're going somewhere big with this Aquarius. Big. Aries and Taurus with the Emperor there. You've been waiting for your lucky break. This is better than what you've been waiting for. This is so much more than... Aquarius, I'm so happy for you guys. Um, what's the outcome? They're telling me this is a side note for the people that didn't want to get on board with you. For the people that it didn't stand by and cheer you on, root for you. They are not happy with your sudden success. Your, um, yeah, they're like, why couldn't that have been me? That should have been me. Blah, 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 blah. Because they weren't chosen. And look at how they treated someone who was. Watching you succeed is their karma. Wow. What is Aquarius's outcome, though? The Ace of Swords. True work, true success. Like, you worked so hard for this. Yeah, you were passionate about it, too. The core. Look at that. Two Aces. You have new beginnings. This is your outcome right here. And they're going to take you places. You're launching something here. Or something is being advertised in your honor or other people are talking about your work and now they're coming to you because they're passionate about it. They love it. You are on fire right now. <laughs> you know, yes, King of Pentacles, your coin is good. I'm telling you, these people know other people in high places. These are faithful, loyal, trustworthy individuals that they're sharing your information with. These people that are coming to you and they love what you do and they want it. I want it. I'm getting like a lot of different artist type stuff, paintings and, um, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Keeping up your boundary. You are safe and protected. You are so safe and protected. I almost feel bad for the people that didn't treat you right. Yeah. And this information is really going to kind of put them in a, in a weird place. You know, as you're over here safe and protected so that you can do what you need to do. You're seeing the flags. You're also like, I knew that was real. I knew this was real. I followed my dreams or I listened to my dreams and let them guide me, my intuition, and let that guide me. You can't go wrong here, Aquarius. You cannot go wrong here. And the people that sent you packing that you had to heal from, they're going to learn about your success and they're going to get shoved right into their unhappy place as you move forward, as they hear about all your good news. And they don't get no pieces of your pie because they weren't there. No. They can watch from a distance where it's safe for you. And you're not the one that has to put it in their faces. The divine will make sure they find out some way, somehow. <sighs> He's singing. Um, anyway, so we have here Pisces, Aries, Libra, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, and Taurus. I'm going to leave this here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Until next time, stay beautiful.